on my feet, there's no way I could find Clara. This two-second clip is part of a longer project I'm working on in Procreate Dreams, and I thought I'd show my personal process for it from a non-animator perspective. First off, I made a rough cut of the audio and imported it into Dreams. This is going to be my guideline for project length, which can be seen right here. And as I listen over and over to the dialogue, I play images in my head like a movie, and I make my initial scribble for a shot I think may work. I then import the frame to procreate drawing so I can access the perspective grids. And when I get in there, I end up increasing the canvas size because despite thinking I know the frame that I want, I really want to give myself room to change my mind, especially for the final edits. And by increasing the size, I give the possibility of different camera movement or crops if it ends up fitting the pace and then I won't have to redraw anything. I then take some time to map out perspective or consider other options that I find organically from just experimenting. At this stage, I try not to stay wedded to my initial idea idea because I have no idea if it was a brilliant first move or just a generic concept I needed to get out of the way. I also have to keep in mind the general tone of the shot because despite liking steep angles and perspective because it's simply fun to draw, it needs to have fidelity to the world that I'm creating. And for this moment, the world needs to seem still and regular, but also have a bit of an imposing quality, which I thought could be represented by the house's roof angles to give an impression of being closed in while in an open space, as this is more of the psychological state of the character. When I'm making complicated perspectives or any kind of background, I always use a contrasting color to my final inks, just so that I know where everything goes. I find it visually easier to work like this rather than inking over a sketch layer with only the opacity adjustment. However, this may not work for everybody, and in that case, you could also just use a difference in values over direct color. Back in Dreams, I start to fill in values on a layer underneath my inked frame. Also noting that I exported the frame as a PNG file for the transparency. I do not want to commit to a palette just yet, but just have a rough idea of the values in each of the shots. I'll probably deepen the environment due to it being at night when I near to the final stages. Working in flipbook mode, I want to get a sense of where my character will be moving, even though how I get the character to move will be changed with frame rate to reflect the overall pace of the work. And as I scrub through, I feel like changing the shot mid dialogue to see how it may feel. On my feet, there's no way I could find Clara. I like the look of that. And now I just add some blob motion in flipbook, indicating the continuation of the character's run and have an existential crisis about how much work goes into two seconds of animation. So far, this is how I'm using Dreams and how it's panning out for me. I have a lot of issues with it as well, but for now, I'm just trying to work with what it is. I'll be updating this project when it's around the halfway mark. Thanks for watching. See you later.